the sky up here has got stars and there are clouds which you can see here number two and these clouds hang in the air birds fly underneath the clouds fishes you can see them here swim in the water the earth has got hills and it's got woods here woods and fields which you can see here number seven and beasts which you can see here and people which you can see here this picture is all about fire fire glows that means it gives out light it burns and it burns things to ashes a spark of fire which is struck out of a flint stone here's a little flint stone number two or a fire stone by means of a piece of steel that's this thing here a piece of metal is taken by tinder which is small bits of fluff and bits of wood in a tinder box that's here and it lights a match and the match which can be a small stick of wood can be used to light a candle in a candlestick and this then causes a flame here or a blaze here which can catch hold of houses which you can see here in eight smoke comes up from the fire here's the smoke number nine and it sticks to the sides of a chimney and in the chimney you get soot a burning stick here is called a firebrand and a stick that's gone out um, it's called a quenched stick or a lump of coal when the fire has gone out you get dust and this dust is called cinders and when the fire burns low you get pieces that glow red hot but they're not on fire and these are called embers or hot ashes this picture is about air a breeze or cool air which blows through the air blows gently wind blows much more strongly and a storm which you can see here blowing down will blow down and blow over trees a whirlwind which goes round and round and round you can see it here going round and round and round a whirlwind turns itself round on a compass it goes round and round in the same place and then underneath the ground you can have movements of the earth and these cause an earthquake here number five and this causes great holes in the ground or chasms and cracks in the ground and the ruining of houses here you can see a house falling down because of the earthquake this picture is all about water water springs out from a fountain here it comes down springing out from a fountain and you have a waterfall here coming down from the mountainside and it flows down in a brook here's the flowing stream right flowing down in a brook and it runs towards a river here's the river right so a brook is a small stream of water and a river number three is a big stream of water the water can stand in a pond here's a pond of water here number four or it can glide into a stream of water running down in a stream here's a stream of water number five a stream of water running down and it can be whirled around in a whirlpool here number six you see the mouse going round and round this is a whirlpool of water going round and round and it can cause 
fens. A fen is a marshy place that you find down in Hackney marshes here where the plants grow in the water and it's muddy. A river has got river banks. Here's the bank of a river, the side of a river. And the sea, which is out here, here's the sea. The sea has got the shore, the shore of the sea, here. And at the sea, you find bays. Here's a bay where the land comes in, and you have a bay here. Here's a bay, number 10. Or a cape. A cape is a bit of land that sticks out into the sea. And then you have islands. Here are some islands. And around the islands is the sea. So the sea goes all the way around the island. Here is an island with two mountains and the sea all around. And you have things that are called almost islands, which are peninsulas. Here it is. It's sticking out into the sea. But it's only got sea on one, two, three sides. So it's a peninsula. It's almost an island. Here's another peninsula here sticking out. And here is another peninsula. There's something called a neck of land, which is a long, thin peninsula. This is a neck of land. It sticks out very far. You have straits. A strait, here's a strait, it's a long, narrow piece of water. So this strait is running between the land here and the island here. And you also have rocks coming out of the sea. Here's a rock coming out of the sea here, number 16. Here's a pretty amazing picture. And in this picture, it's all about clouds. So, vapor, which is like steam or fog, that rises up from the water. Here, it rises up from the water. And from the vapor are formed clouds. Number two up here in the sky, here we have clouds. And you can have a white mist. Here's a white mist near the earth. Rain. Here's rain coming down. These lines are rain. And a small shower of rain. They come out from the cloud, drop by drop. And if it's frozen, here, number five, it causes hail. These are hailstones coming down here. And if it's half frozen, then we get snow. Here's snowflakes falling down here. Number six, in a rainy cloud opposite the sun, you get a rainbow. Here's the rainbow. Isn't it pretty? Number seven, up here. If a drop falls into the water, you get bubbles forming. Here they are, little bubbles. And lots of bubbles make foam. Frozen water, which you can see here, number 10, is called ice. And if you get dew that freezes onto plants, this is called hoarfrost. Thunder comes from the movement of air, where great big amounts of air bang together, and it breaks out of a cloud here with lightning, number 11. Here's thunder and lightning. And it thunders and it strikes. So lightning strikes. And that's the end of this little section on the clouds. The earth. In the earth there are high mountains. Here's a mountain, very high mountains and very deep valleys. Here's a valley between the mountains. So one mountain here, one mountain there, and between the mountains is a deep valley. We have hills that rise up. Here's a hill. It's not as big as a mountain. And we have hollow caves in the mountains. Here's a cave in the mountain right there, number four. And we have flat fields here we are, some fields with different plants growing on the fields. And we have shady woods, shady forests here.
and up in the sky we have clouds. This picture is about crops, the fruits of the earth. A meadow, that's here, here's a meadow, that yields or gives grass with different flowers, here are little flowers, and herbs. Herbs are different kinds of plants that grow in the meadow. These, when they're cut down, like here, and they're piled up, they're made into hay. So these are haystacks. One, two, three, four, five haystacks. A field gives wheat. So here is a wheat field. The wheat is growing in the field. And also vegetables. Vegetables can grow in a field as well. Mushrooms. Here's some mushrooms. And we have strawberries. Here's a strawberry plant with one, two, three strawberries growing on it. And myrtle trees. Here's a myrtle tree. They grow up in the woods. Metals and stones and minerals are found underneath the earth. So you can't see them on top of the earth, but underneath the earth. This picture is all about different kinds of metals. So lead, here's a big lump of lead. Lead is very soft and very heavy. Iron, here are some pieces of iron, is hard. And steel, here are some pieces of steel, number three, is even harder. They make Tankards is a tankard, T-A-N-K-A-R-D. A tankard is made out of tin. Kettles, here's a kettle, right? What used to be called the kettle in the olden days for boiling water, are made out of copper. Candlesticks, here's a candlesticks, are made out of brass. Here's a brass candlestick, number six. Dollars. Here's some dollars on the table, are made of silver. And crown pieces and Krugerrands are made out of gold. Quicksilver, which is also called mercury, is always a liquid. And if you put other metals with it, it eats through the other metals. What else can you see in this picture? Here you can see an, an oval window. There's a brick wall here, and you can see the floor here, and this is a very fancy table. This picture is all about stones and rocks. Sand, that's one here, sand you find at the beach. And gravel, here's gravel, is basically big lumps of rock, that are broken into pieces. The sand are much smaller pieces and the gravel, the pieces are a bit bigger. A great stone is a piece of rock or a crag. Here's a crag and this side of it here, the flat side of it, is a cliff. Number five is a wet stone. A wet stone is a piece of stone that specially you use it for sharpening knives. Or a flint stone. Here's a flint stone. And that's used for lighting a fire. Marble. Here's a piece of marble column. Sometimes you find marble on fancy buildings. These are um, ordinary stones. A magnet, which is a magnet stone, that um, pulls iron towards it. So here we have a compass which has got a magnet stone inside it. Jewels, you can see different examples of jewels here on the table, are clear um, translucent stones. They allow light to go through them. And some examples of jewels are a diamond, which is clear or white, a ruby, which is red, 
a sapphire, which is blue, an emerald, which is green, and a jacinth, which is yellow. And these all glister. That means that they sparkle, especially when they are cut into angles, into facets. In this box we have some pearls. And pearls grow in oysters, in shellfish. This is a coral neck. This coral is red in color. And corals are a... they grow under the sea. Um, and this is an amber necklace. Amber looks a bit like yellow plastic. Sometimes you see people wearing amber beads. They're a yellow color, so a nice yellow golden color. Um, but they, you can't see through the amber. It looks like solid plastic, but it's not plastic. Amber is gathered from the sea, but it actually comes from the resin or the, the gum that comes out from trees which then sets solid and over a long period of time turns to stone. And here we have a drinking cup made out of glass. And glass is like crystal. And here we have a balustrade and a staircase going down.